Welcome, 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 welcome to Biz Dev Live. My name is Cameron Toth, and I'm so excited to talk to you about building your network locally today. We're talking about how to start local, to go big. I think a lot of folks, especially that are marketing their business online, they're looking for connections, they're looking for followers, and they're seeking those from wherever they can get them. And sometimes wherever you can get them is exactly the wrong place. And what do I mean by that? Are you starting locally? Are you getting your neighbors to follow you on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn? I was just doing a search the other day and I was realizing, man, I'm not connected to as many of the people that I could be, even though I have thousands of connections and followers across different social media platforms, I don't have as many local connections as I should, especially as an owner of a locally, regionally based staffing business. BizDev Live is something that I'm trying to grow globally, you could say, internationally, nationally for sure. Uh, BizDev Live, the brand is something special, but I have this company called Toth Event Staffing. And so that is a local based company. And it's surprising. Wow, I'm not connected to as many people as I'd love to be connected to locally. So start locally, go on to LinkedIn, search locally. That's what we're talking about today, building your local connections to get those grassroots growing so that you can build a large organization for yourself as an entrepreneur and a business owner. Stay with me. I'll be right back after the biz dev theme. Make sure you're subscribing on YouTube. If you need a moment, go over there to YouTube, type in Cameron Toth or biz dev live and make sure you subscribe. Biz Dev Live, Biz Dev Live, weekdays at 11 Eastern Time, live. Biz Dev Live, Biz Dev Live, weekdays at 11 Eastern Time. Leadership and motivation, motivation, empathy and inspiration, inspiration. Biz Dev Live, Biz Dev Live, business development, not even selling it. Biz D with C, brought to you by Cameron T, Cameron T, Biz D with C. Brought to you by Cameron T. Cameron T. This is business development, not even selling it. Not even selling it. Not even selling this it. This is business development, not even selling it. Business development, not even selling it. Biz Dev Live. Biz Dev Live. Biz Dev Live. This is business development, not even selling it. So we want you to start local. Make sure that you are taking advantage of your phone book, your contact list. Oftentimes when you jump into LinkedIn or you jump into any of these social media platforms, they'll ask you, do you want to check and see who's in your phone book on that platform? And that can be a useful tool. Privacy issues abound and you may want to be careful with that. One of the things that you can do as a business owner, every time you're reaching out to somebody that's local is, hey, I'd love to follow you on Instagram. Hey, I'd love to follow you on LinkedIn. I'd love to follow you. By saying that, you're going to automatically get a great response back. If they're on those platforms, they're going to be happy to have somebody else following them on those platforms for the most part. And so that's an easy way for you to connect with more people locally with your social media network. For your business contacts and for your ability to connect locally, make sure that you're getting involved in your local chamber of commerce if you have a business. Make sure that you're getting involved in local groups. If there's something around your business, let's say you're in a fitness group, uh, fitness kind of space for your business, make sure you're joining local fitness groups. Go check out other classes and programs. Make sure that you're talking, connecting with people. Those are going to be great business connections for you. You're going to get a great feel for the community that's around you. You're going to connect locally to people so that you can grow your business, right? And so make sure that you're connecting locally. Make sure that you're finding ways to connect, especially on social media uh, with folks that are local first, because those are the people that are going to be most likely to know you. And so you're going to expand on your social proof. So never bypass low hanging fruit and easy wins. 
you have people that are close to you, bring them into your social media game, into your referrals, Google My Business, Google reviews, make sure that you're taking advantage of the people that you know and that you're close to and are around you first. Don't take them for granted. Make sure you're bringing them into your social media world. Make sure you're bringing them into your, uh, and when I say social media world, Google reviews, right? Google my business, great way for a lot of people, even very locally to find your business. So the more local people that you have that have liked your business, that have shared a great review about your business, the more someone that's driving around that's local to you is going to find you on Google. Social media is fantastic that way because it's very difficult for me to send a paper plane out my front door and hit somebody uh, in the eye as they're driving. Be a little dangerous. But we can actually do that with Google because Google has the proximity alerts to your local business. These things will make it more attractive as you bring in more social proof to your business. Things like Google will, will show out. And so you can build that on Google. You can build that on LinkedIn. You can build that on Facebook because a lot of these things have these spatial proximity alerts to people that you're friends with. So the more you're connected to the people around you and the more that they like you and enjoy your 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 business, your service, the more likely they're going to promote it uh, both on purpose and even by accident just because they're interacting with it. Local can feel scary and ultra personal, which is why it is so important for social proof, right? If you're nervous about it, why are you nervous about it? If you have a great product, you have a great service, make sure you're talking to your local people so they can endorse you. If word of mouth is your friend, then nurture it, right? So if you offer a crappy service and you're afraid that people are going to give you negative reviews, that's obviously not going to help you. Delene, thanks for chiming in. Appreciate you here uh, jumping into the show. Delene, checking in. Um, but if you're proud of your service, get people talking about it. That's going to help. Make sure you nurture that word of mouth. For me, for Toth Event Staffing, word of mouth is our biggest deal. And what we have is folks, Facebook groups, moms groups in White Plains, Scarsdale, that talk about uh, Toth Event Staffing without me advertising within those groups. not possible for me to do so. But because we nurture it and we take care of our folks, that word of mouth builds and spreads. Uh, use LinkedIn social platforms to search for local connections. Make sure you're checking that out. Don't leave my pleasure. Um, I love you checking out the program. I love you getting in here. Um, never bypass the low hanging fruit and easy wins, right? So that's the message today. You got people in your network, you got people's phone numbers, you got people's emails bring them into your social network, make sure you're reaching out and make sure you try to do it. Uh, if you can do it earlier, the better, because later on as you're building this large list of, of emails and clients and your address book, it can be more intimidating and more challenging to do this. It's a lot easier to do it organically as you're reaching out one client after another, you're interacting with them, making it a part of your process to bring them into Google reviews, connecting with them on LinkedIn or Facebook, Instagram, whatever your desired platform is, but build those local connections. That's how you make the grassroots grow and you become a larger organization because you're taking care of your local folks and that continues to grow and grow and grow and grow and expand. And it is a amazing story for you to build off of when you have local support and local growth that can build up and then expand out. I hope this has been helpful for you. Don't take those local connections for granted. Make sure you're utilizing them. I will see you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Have an amazing day. Go out there and crush it. Biz Dev Live, Biz Dev Live. Weekdays at 11 Eastern Time Live. Biz Dev Live, Biz Dev Live. Weekdays at 11 Eastern Time. Leadership and motivation. Motivation. Empathy and inspiration. Inspiration. Biz Dev Live. Biz Dev Live. Business development, not even selling it. Biz D with C. Brought to you by Cameron T. Cameron T. Biz D with C. Brought to you by Cameron T. Cameron T. This is business development, not even selling it. Not even selling it. Not even selling this it. This is business development.
development, not even selling it. Business development, not even selling it. Biz Dev Live, Biz Dev Live. Biz Dev Live.